Imagine waking up one morning, stretching your arms, and realizing you've got wings. Real, feathered, flapping wings big enough to lift you off the ground. No more traffic jams, no more gas prices, just spread your wings and fly to work. Sounds amazing, right? But let's see what would actually happen if humans grew wings and the skies became our highways. First problem, physics. Human bodies are heavy. Even the fittest among us weigh way more than a bird our size. To fly, your wings would need to be at least 20 feet wide. So good luck squeezing through your front door or finding a t-shirt that fits and flapping those wings. You'd burn calories faster than an Olympic sprinter. You'd need to eat like a hummingbird on steroids, thousands of calories a day just to stay airborne. Forget protein shakes. You'd be inhaling pizza mid-flight just to keep your wings moving. But let's say evolution figured it out. Lightweight bones, massive chest muscles, aerodynamic bodies. The skies would turn into rush hour chaos. Imagine hundreds of people flying overhead, cutting each other off, yelling, use your signal feathers. Air traffic control would need to manage millions of tiny flying humans instead of planes. Bird strikes? Now it's human strikes. And weather would become your biggest enemy. A little rain might feel like bullets at high speed, and one strong gust could send you spiraling into someone's backyard barbecue. So yeah, flying would be awesome, until the first thunderstorm. In the end, humans with wings might learn to glide gracefully, but we'd quickly realize the sky isn't as peaceful as it looks. Maybe cars aren't so bad after all. So, if you had wings, would you brave the sky highways or stay grounded? Drop your answer in the comments. Hit like if you'd give flying a try, and subscribe for more What If Science That Takes Imagination to New Heights.